Hello everyone, Sally here and welcome back to another episode of Bug Rock of the Week. Today we will once again be taking a look at the 1.16 Nether Update betas for the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. We will be covering 1.16.0.57 in today's video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at all the major bugs that were fixed in this beta, along with a lot of the different parity changes that were added to Bedrock Edition, and there is so much good stuff in this beta. I cannot wait for the Nether Update to fully release for Bedrock edition mojang is absolutely killing it with these betas and this is going to be one of the best updates yet before we get too far into things there are two things that we need to cover first of all an rtx beta just came out for bedrock edition it is absolutely insane looking i would highly recommend that you check it out i made a whole video about it in the upper right right there even if you've seen a whole bunch of other videos on rtx or if you don't like rtx still watch that video i spent like six hours editing it it's one of the highest quality videos on the channel in a long time so give it your view it deserves it okay <laughs> and also all of the bugs and features that we talk about in today's video will be linked down in the description if you want more information about anything we talk about or just this update in general check the description of the video so the first thing that we're going to talk about in today's video is all the parody changes that were added to bedrock edition there's a lot of different features that bedrock has edition has been missing and the first of those is update aquatic underwater music yes update aquatic this is like from several updates ago however the music is absolutely beautiful you can hear it in the background right now so cool and they also added cave sounds to bedrock edition cave sounds people have you never experienced cave sounds before you probably haven't if you've never played java or legacy console but cave sounds are the scariest nicest things in the world and you will wonder how you've ever lived without them I won't be playing too much of the music here in this video, however, if you do want to hear the entirety of the update aquatic music tracks, then I'll have a video from Exumavoid on the music in the upper right for you to check out. They're all absolutely beautiful tracks composed by C418, and I would highly recommend them. And next up, we have these super scary, wonderful cave sounds. So I just found a random cave, we're going to walk around for a minute, and there you go, you can hear a cave sound. Now, these on Bedrock Edition, they pop up like twice a minute basically and on java and legacy console they're actually fairly rare there's another one they're so cool and they're very creepy and they are so atmospheric however they kind of show up a lot on bedrock edition not sure if they should be that frequent Yeah, they're, it's, it's basically non-stop cave sounds. They need to be tuned down just a little bit. Enough of the creepy crawly sounds, we have another awesome parody edition, and this has to do with oak and birch saplings being grown within a two block radius of a flower. Any saplings in this kind of situation will have a 5% chance of growing with a beehive on it. As you can see, these ones down here got themselves some beehives, which is really awesome. It kind of appears that this one actually has two on it. Not sure. It's probably just due to some bugs uh, with the, the tree growth. But yeah, as you can see, this one actually has two. Mm, okay, so maybe they can generate with two. That's, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we can now get a renewable source of beehives and bees in your Minecraft world. This little beta also gives us two extremely nice moderation commands that we can run via the chat. We now have slash kick and we also have slash ban as well. This is going to be extremely useful for realm and server moderators, owners, and operators. And honestly, we have needed this command on Bedrock Edition for a very long time. This is something that corner heart has been working on diligently for the last long time he's been getting a lot of feedback from everyone in the community about this command and it's actually really versatile as well so slash kick will basically just disconnect anyone from the world whoever you target so the slash kick command can actually have variables on it as well for instance you can kick 
all the players in the world by targeting at A, or you can target anyone within like a radius of a hundred blocks or a minimum of a hundred blocks, or you can target anyone that doesn't have a tag, for example. It's a very versatile command, and it's going to be extremely, extremely nice to have. And then, of course, there's also slash ban as well. You will need to be the owner of the realm or the server for this to actually function for you. And basically, this prevents anyone from joining the realm again. Very, very useful for getting rid of griefers. So those are all the missing features that have been finally added to the Bedrock Edition. Let's go ahead and finally hop into the bug fixes from this beta. A really, really nice bug fix reported by Foxy. I can reach that far? Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, a really nice bug fix that has been fixed is villagers will now have approximately the same trade values as Java Edition. So there are three different things on the bug report linked in the change log. One is the rate at which villagers level up. They should level up much quicker now. So if we trade with them, you can see that he is leveling up actually pretty good and also you can see this immediately the amount that you can trade with a villager is so so much more we can we can trade many 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 times look at that that is incredible oh my god <laughs> this is going to completely change the game for Bedrock Edition trading halls. So overall, three amazing changes have been made to villagers. The rate at which they level up is increased, the amount that they can trade you before locking out is increased, and their prices have been changed as well. Also, as an addition to this, they will give you more experience when trading to them, or at least they should. And one really, really nice fix that is going to affect so many people is turtles will now officially lay eggs again. This is a amazing this has been broken for so long and you might not realize just why this is a big deal and that is because turtles not laying eggs makes it completely impossible to get turtle scoots and without turtle scoots you can't make turtle master potions lingering potions arrows turtle helmets you can't do a lot of things without turtles laying eggs and this guy right here or girl rather is about to lay an egg as we can see they're digging up the sand waving the arms all around there we go we got some fresh turtle eggs oh my god it's it's so good liar is going to be amazingly happy about this we talked about this in one of the previous bug rock of the week episodes but they have finally properly fixed it and that is the smooth camera from a full keyboard gameplay as you can see it is extremely smooth now and it is not jittery at all the camera is working as it should and this is going to allow me specifically to make so many more different cinematic shots for videos and i am so happy that this has finally been fixed another bug that i reported absolutely ages ago is that mobs have a terrible time pathfinding through bamboo you probably have seen this in your world if you have any bamboo Boo. they basically just try and pathfind through it and then get infinitely stuck and they can't move and they can't do anything and they stay there for literal months but this has finally been fixed because bamboo is no longer pathfind throughable so mobs won't even try to attempt it in the first place as you can see this piglin is going to try and get away from this soul torch and uh, it's not going to be able to even try and pathfind through the bamboo it's going to see that as a barrier and not even try which is really Really fascinating I'm sure we can use this for all kinds of player only doors because clearly we can walk through this but now the uh, the mobs won't even try Wow I did I did not know that they made those sounds that's that's terrifyingly cruel I don't know if I like the nether update actually that's that's a terrible fate this next one is mildly hilarious and kind of tragic, but the smooth quartz texture has finally been added to the Bedrock Edition. As you can see, we have smooth quartz here on the right and regular quartz on the left with the little lines, and it is so very nice. Why it took, you know, eight months or so to fix this texture bug, I have no idea. And also, this same exact bug was on Java Edition when they were first added adding the smooth quartz so how they messed it up twice and why it took so long to fix is utterly beyond me but they've also added like quartz bricks in this update which is amazing they look beautiful 
However, I think they have a little bit too much of a line right there because as you can see the normal bricks, they don't have that little border right there. So it's a slightly tweaked texture. Maybe it's intentional, maybe it's not, but they're still a really nice block. More good news for those of you who are builders, they are working on the red mushroom and brown mushroom bug that doesn't allow you to collect their blocks. So we have a silk touch axe right here. And as you can see, if we break these, we get the proper red mushrooms, which is good. If we break these stems, then we'll get the proper stem blocks as well, which is good. We can also break the stems of the brown mushroom. We get those stem blocks and they stack with the other ones. And then we can break the brown mushroom blocks and we get those ones. So everything is working as intended except for a few things that have totally been overlooked so we can place down the red blocks we can place down the stem blocks and the brown blocks if we break the red ones we get red ones if we break the stems we get brown ones which is lovely and if we break the brown ones then we still get brown ones so they don't really work that well i don't know if you guys remember this but around the start of a truly bedrock season zero there was a bug where withers couldn't break any block at all meaning that you can make a system like this a very very simple wither killer made out of obsidian and in fact withers were so weak they couldn't even break slime blocks and this has actually been added as a little bit of a feature so the wither on startup won't break obsidian, which is very strange. So we can see this wither explode and he shouldn't break any obsidian at all. As you can see, he's shooting skulls everywhere and those are actually breaking obsidian and the cobblestone, but uh, it's only the skulls that are breaking the cobblestone. The actual death of the wither does no damage to obsidian. So this actually makes it so that we can have legitimate wither cages in survival mode all you need to do is create a system where the wither is permanently targeting a mob so that all skulls are being sent off in a single direction and the wither will never actually escape. It's very, very fascinating. What I personally think would be a much better situation is to simply make netherite a fully blast resistant block. That way you really have to work for it in order to make a vanilla survival wither cage. If this was completely blast blast resistant and could not be blown up or destroyed by the wither that would be far better than obsidian because you actually have to work for this and I think that that would be an amazing base mechanic. So I've actually already designed a perfectly viable wither cage that makes the wither target mob. This was intended for an advanced obsidian farm but this would actually work perfectly fine in the new 1.16 betas for a very easy survival wither cage. Obviously we would replace the bedrock with something else. It's not like fully designed yet, but the wither will never escape from this. And uh, it's very fascinating that we can contain the wither of obsidian now. Two by two spruce trees will now properly spawn a ton of puzzle around them when they are grown. There have been three changes to the dragon's breath on bedrock edition. First of all, they will no longer be invisible, which is a very nice change. Invisible's dragon breath is not not very nice and also it no longer does a massive amount of damage to the player as you can see it has the appropriate amount of damage it will no longer instant kill you which is a massive bug this is one of the biggest bugs that's been in the bedrock edition for a very long time and the third change is the fact that we now have a very tall animations for it which I'm not sure if it's intended or not but I kind of like it and to end things off with a very small but very much appreciated change for us as technical players Minecarts will now have the proper sized hitbox. So as you can see, we can place them on adjacent rails and they don't bounce around, they don't nudge each other, and they don't mess with each other. We can try this in all the different orientations as well, and they will not be pushing each other. In previous updates, having minecarts like this next to each other, they would all push each other. These guys would be going all over the place, moving around, be doing things that they shouldn't, and it was super annoying and broke a lot of different minecart related systems. This also appears to have fixed the bug where you can't have multiple minecarts in a small area as you can see that is working pretty well these guys are not pushing each other and that is actually a super appreciated bug fix because it was so annoying it was the most annoying thing in the world 
It was a super small bug, but it was very, very annoying, and it has finally been fixed in this beta. So there's actually a lot more Banjir bug fixes that I would like to mention in this video. However, we are running out of time for today's episode, so make sure to tune in next week for the next episode of Bug Rock. By the time that episode releases, there will likely be another beta as well, so even more things to talk about and enjoy. And overall, the 1.16 update is again shaping up to be one of the best updates that Bedrock edition has ever received and I am super excited for it. If you're looking for something to watch at the end of today's video then of course I cannot recommend that RTX video enough. Watch it if you haven't, it's absolutely beautiful and you won't regret it. It turned out very very well. Otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching today's episode of Bug Rock. I do greatly appreciate it. If you did enjoy this episode then make sure to leave a like on the video as it helps out the video and the channel a ton. If you're new here then consider subscribing. Help us reach 200,000 subscribers. We are ever so close and I can't Cannot be more excited for that. Thank you all so very much for the support. I will see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.